Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is question number two from the International A Level LXL Pure Mathematics P2 October 2021 exam. A question about recurrence relationships and sequences. It says a sequence is defined by u1 equals 6, un plus 1 equals k, un plus 3, where k is a positive constant. Find in terms of k an expression for u3. So, what, what does this mean? It's a bit alien to some people when they first look at something like this, but it's actually quite simple. What it is, is this is telling you how to get this formula here, tells you how to get to the next term from the term previous to it. So un plus 1 is the next term, and kun is like the previous term, you could say. How to get to the next term from the term that you're at now, for example. So u1 is equal to 6, um, and you want to find what u3 is. Okay, so basically, if we, if we take this recurrent relationship, un plus 1 equals k un plus 3, then I know u1 is equal to 6, so I can find what u2 is. The second term is k times the term before it, which is the first term, plus 3. And as we know that u1 is equal to 6, we can now say that u2 is equal to six k times 6 plus 3, so therefore we can say u2 is equal to 6k plus 3. That's u2. Okay, that's not what we have to find. In the end, we have to find u3. That's the final thing, so I won't box that. Okay, well, that's one step in the way. Now, once I find what u2 is, I can find what u3 is, because u3 is going to be k times u2 plus 3. Just following the same logic. The third term is k times the second term plus 3. And I know u2 is 6k plus 3. So u3 is going to be k times 6k plus 3 plus 3. And if I simplify that, that's going to be 6k squared plus 3k plus 3. So that's u3. So this is the answer to this part of the question. u3 is equal to 6k squared plus 3k plus 3. Okay, that's part A done with this question. And now we've got to do part B. Okay, so part B of the question says, given that, and this, what this means, sigma, means a sum of, from n equals 1 to n equals 3, u n equals 1, 1, 7, find the value of k. So what does this mean? Well, what this means is the sum of all the terms, okay, from the first term to the third term. So n equals 1, 3, u n. What it means is u1 plus u2 plus u3. Oops, u3, that's what it means. Okay, it means the first term plus the second term plus the third term will give you 117. So if I take these three terms, which is 6 plus 6k plus 3 plus 6k squared plus 3k plus 3, I'm going to get 117 as my answer. So I have an equation here which I can now solve for k to find the value of k. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Um, Simplify this, I've got 6k squared, then I've got 6k plus 3k, which is 9k. Then I've got 6 plus 3 plus 3, which is 12, equals 117. So here we have a quadratic equation. So I've got 6k squared plus 9k. You have 12 minus 117, which is negative 105. Okay, just let's just uh, confirm that, make sure. It's 12 minus 117. minus 105 equals 0. Um, I can see that all of these numbers are divisible by 3, um, so I'm going to divide them by 3 to make life easier. 2k squared plus 3k minus 3 into 10 goes 3, remainder 1, 35 equals 0. That's right, 90 plus 15. Okay, so now I've simplified this as much as I can. I'm now going to solve this quadratic equation. Um, you must show your steps. You can't just put this in your calculator and and use the function for solving equations. You should show your steps. There's different ways of doing it. You can do guessing and checking. You can do uh, splitting the middle term. This is my version of splitting the middle term, where I make a little box. So 2k squared and minus 35. Two numbers multiplied to give me minus 70k squared. So the numbers here must give me the same product of those two. And the sum of these two numbers must be plus 3k. Plus 3k. So 70 and... Um, so you've got 10 times 7, 10 times 7. So if I write uh, plus 10k, 
and minus 7k that's going to give me 70 k squared and when I add them I get plus 3k I think that's the right combination so the common factor on these two is 2k 2k times k is 2k squared 2k times plus 5 is plus 10k and k times minus 7 is minus 7k so this gives you 2k minus 7 and k plus 5 equals 0 so we have k equals um, 7 over 2 because 2k plus 7 equals 0 or k equals negative 5 so those are the two values of k let's see what we know about k here um, let's see what they say in the question in the beginning it says k is a positive constant so that's very important for us to look back and see what they define k as so k is a positive constant so we can say therefore okay k must equal 7 over 2 okay because it says k is positive the question tells us that in the beginning so we have to make sure that we choose the correct answer and make it clear that we have not taken this answer but we've taken that answer we must make it clear and write down the answer finally as just a positive one otherwise we'll definitely lose some marks from that okay that's very important for us to understand so there's the answer to two part b and that's the end of this question about sequences other questions from this particular paper can be found on the playlist that should appear in this area somewhere over here other questions from sequences and series from p2 can be found in the playlist that should appear, appear somewhere over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle thank you for watching and see you soon